A woman charged with killing her three-year-old son more than 30 years ago was back in court this morning. Amy Fleming asked a judge to lower her bail. Her request was denied. Our Hector Mejia was in court. He joins us now with more on what happened. Hi, Hector. Hey there, Alex. When the judge made his decision, he kept it brief and said he just saw no reason to change the bail that was previously set. Amy Fleming appeared with her hands shackled in a Las Vegas courtroom this morning. She faces a charge of murder for her three-year-old son's disappearance. Her attorney, Nicholas Woldridge, argued a $500,000 bail was just too high given that a body has not been found. He said $200,000 was an amount Fleming was able to pay, but the judge denied his request. Now, this case goes back to the late 80s. Three-year-old Francione Pierre was reported missing from a North Las Vegas swap meet back in 1986. The boy was never found. Fleming and her then-boyfriend Lee Luster then moved to Florida. And prosecutors claim they now have the evidence proving Fleming played a role in her son's death. It allegedly includes jail letters from Fleming to Luster. Detectives say they show admissions of guilt. Fleming's attorney is questioning the evidence presented so far, and he reiterated this morning the absence of a body. Since the last time we were here, one of the things that the state did was they did a um, thermal imaging of the entire backyard of their prior residence. Nothing was found. No bones, no nothing, no body, still no body. The couple faced prior child abuse charges before the boy's disappearance. Fleming has pleaded not guilty to the murder charge that was filed last year. And Fleming's trial is expected to begin later on in November 2020. Hector Mejia, back to you.